Hello everyone, my name is Kurazar, and welcome back to Sunless Sea, where we are back in London for the first time in a little while, and I just realized we need to go backwards because I don't have enough supplies. <laughs> did I do that? Anyway, we kind of just did a big round of trading and adventuring and exploring, and we just finished the quest for the, what was his name? The Genial Magician, who is now the Satisfied Magician, who now gives us a bigger bonus to our stats and that we've completed his quest. And I do need to apologize. I was wrong about something in regard to the Serpentine, the new engine. You can keep access to the Serpentine when you pass on your game to another captain if and only if you choose the option that keeps your hearts, which then lets you choose one officer to bring with you, and you must then choose the Satisfied Magician again, and then you can just go and buy the engine again. However, we're going to be bringing along our mirrors and our veils in order to keep the most, or as much money as we can, which is basically all of it. So, yep, uh, whoops. <laughs> we will probably have to do that quest again at some point before we are really done with the merchant, sorry, the magician himself. But let's go ahead and buy a few of these. A couple more of you. How are we on cargo? We're good on cargo. And let's see, should we bring anything else with us? I don't think so. No, we're good here. I wouldn't mind an avid suppressor, but this is an aft, and we don't have an aft slot. So, off we go. The plan for today's episode is going to be a bit different than I was anticipating originally. Oh yeah, we are moving at a good clip now. And that is, we are going to, well, keep going back to our Island of Cats slash Con Shadow slash Community Canal kind of triad. But because we are currently empty, as far as the boxes go, we're going to slip down to the south here and kind of go around here for realties and do the actual exploration I wanted to do a couple episodes ago, because we need to get to the Carnelian Empire in order to get ourselves a submarine, or rather the submarine convertible thing for our ship. And that is something that we can definitely pass on to future Z captains. So that's something we really want to do so we don't have to do it for our second character. Anyway, we're going to go south along here. I will pick back up with you guys when we are getting into new territory, which should include the Iron Republic. So we're going to visit a few places we haven't been while we're on the way here. So here we go. Let's see how our new gun does here. Let's start backing up as fast as we can, which is not fast enough. Let's go. One shot. Two shot. So still three shots, but hey, we took no damage that time. The disperse got a Z story and some fragments. Not too shabby. All right, so we're gonna crawl down probably the side of the continent here, so that we can keep an eye out for any new land discoveries to get us some fragments. And yeah, man, we are so much faster now. Even with the fuel consumption, I'm pretty sure we are making pretty well bank as far as saving on materials because we can turn light off along the coast here. As you can see, our terror is still, no, it's green now, or it was green. And we can turn the light back on to reduce our terror again. And once it gets back down to a few, we can flip the light back off and we can then save on fuel. Here we are in the Iron Republic. We got Kugel's Bluff. Now this is a funny place. There's a, an interaction I don't quite fully grasp where when you stay here, I think this is a place where like time passes. You can only stay for so long. Let's go ahead and dock. So we can buy fuel. Oh, fuel is dirt cheap here today. Wow. 
Let's do it. <laughs> okay, Hell's Client State. Be wary. Their laws are not the laws of man or nature. Factory engines roar like false lions. Blood thunders in the dock pipes. Crimson lightning skitters across the deck. Leaps to the rail, curls there like a cat. The city is reflected in glassy, calm harbor water. The citizens there have the heads of dogs and serpents. Hell has brought freedom to the Iron Republic, freedom from all laws, even those of nature. <laughs> so we can allow shore leave. Bad idea. Increasing terror. Let's see. So basically everything that you do here kind of increases the sort of days that you're here. And certain things can happen on different days. And you have to think you have to leave and come back with a, something that awaits you before it resets, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and get a port report. We've gained two hearts, a tale of terror, and a memory of distant shores. That's not bad. Parliament of Flies is open for business. Not sure what that is now. Whatever. Let's see. Let's do. Oh, here we go. I must have just scrolled right past it. Market of Hungers, the Parliament of Flies. With its spires and sigils, is it a parody of the bazaar? Today, flies built arcades. Buzz, buzz. Let's go. What's here? Visit the shops tab after the visit. Parliament will no longer be here. They will seek zoop and supplies instead. Okay. Oh, we can sell Scintillac, we can buy cheap fuel again. Wow, this is like less than half the cost of private linen as in London. It's pretty wild. Uh, you know, I'll... Shoot, let's hang on to you. Scintillac is occasionally just weirdly useful. We can sell literature here. Okay. I think we're good. So on the day such as this, the market is filled with crucified dragons and laws in waiting. They whistle a welcome. Let's go. The Gesundheit conspiracy is open for business. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Let's see, so they want zoop and supplies. Oh, we can buy some dark top coffee here. Interesting. Well, we are not going to the surface, so I'm going to skip that for now. And it looks like we're pretty much done here. Interesting. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. We can fund a tittering artificer's project. Nearly ready. Yes, yes. Nearly ready. I need more. You can have the prototype when it's done. Take it. Kill with it. I want to see what damage you can do. Ammunition will be difficult. It will cost you so much. So much. But the weapon, oh, the weapon. <laughs> all right, well, I think that's all we can do here today. But we got a port report. We are apparently facing straight into the opposing landscape. Okay, let's get rolling here. And we are going to pop down again along the coast, trying to find discoveries and avoid noticed by ships like that one. There should be, I believe, the Grand Geo down here, as well as Port Carnelian, like I mentioned, for the submarine. And I think also the Dawn Machine is down here somewhere. Let's see. It's pretty barren out here, it looks like. Ooh, there's a big old ship. Let's avoid the shore. There we go. There's a port here. I'm guessing we can't go to this one unless we're underwater. Let's kill our light here. We do not want to be spotted by this guy. We can probably outrun it, but I don't want to chance it. We are pretty far down here, too. The Dawn Machine. Here we are. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get too, too close. No, I think this is kind of, it's kind of storm we don't want to get caught in. I'll try to avoid it, but it might 
catch us a bit, which is not great. Whoop. And there's more of those blue birds. Port Carnelian. Oh, finally. Okay, so here is a place where you can reliably buy dark drop coffee, mountain shirt. Interesting. You can also buy casket of sapphires. We can sell some stuff here. Supplies are pretty cheap, which isn't too bad. You can sell the solace fruit for 50, which I'm going to keep that for now, though. Uh, let's go ahead and we will buy a bit of fuel. Still good on. Yep, we're good there. And let's go check out the port. There's a specialized collector, which requires the under Z. Ah, we can refer a patient to our flattery air. Okay. We can visit the Imperial Tea Shop. Murgatroyd's Tea Shop. Call at Hearts Cross House. Okay. So it requires low supremacy and no port report. Interesting. Okay. Pan for sapphires in the fungal jungle. Or influence affairs. Okay. Well, let's see. Econate. Let's do Hearts Cross House. The governor is very, very busy. And Natasha offers you a bowl of sugared puffballs and explains the work the governor does among the natives. Got to keep him happy, what? After all, they are tigers. Okay. Let's do the clattery airs thing here. Why not? Since we can. Boop. So the lady insists that she agree. Oh, I should start at the top here. There's a lady at Murgatroyd's who dresses in tiger pelts and shows her teeth to customers. Okay. She insists that she belongs in the jungle. The tigers disagree. There are questions about where her pelts came from and how the former owners died. The clattery air offers her a consultation. Afterward, the patient has a curious crescent scar on her forehead, roughly the shape of a claw. But I can wear a hat, it's no matter. She buries the pelts with honors and buys a ticket for the next ship back to London. Okay. So we could then talk to the clattery, clattery air again. And we can ask her. Ah, okay, so if we if we keep doing this, I think we get a higher and higher chance because last time we had a 20% chance. So let's not talk to her. At some point we will want to have her work on us. But we'll leave it there for now. Anything else to do here? We could pan for sapphires. I'm not sure. Well, you know what? Um, do we need this? We don't need it for that. So we can use spend our something away to here. See what happens. We succeeded. We have one casket of sapphires. Okay. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> and we can sell them for zero here. Wonderful. Let's assay these. 90 echoes. Not too shabby. What do they cost here again? 86. So not super profitable. So we have Zubmariner, the fierce philanthropist. Her house is built in the tall porticoed London style. Red brick and white plaster. Decorative iron railings painted black. Its mistress is the subject of intense colonial gossip. Independently wealthy, an industrialist's daughter, a widow, unwelcome in London. What then does she want with you? An invitation arrived as soon as you docked. Let's go ahead and accept. It wouldn't hurt to have the backing of a wealthy benefactor. You expected a sizable gathering, but it's just you, her, and a decanter of an admirable sherry. She's not a small woman, and comprehensively occupies her armchair. She wears sensible satins and sensible shoes. Her hair is impeccably curled. I've heard a number of shocking things about you, Captain, all of which I consider thoroughly promising. Her accent has a hint of Midlands melancholy to it. She must have spent much of her life on the surface. For a time, she asks questions about your travels and listens avidly to your answers. 
Then she gets down to business. A question, Captain. She tops up her sherry. Some years ago, the nations of the Neath struck an agreement to abandon their research into submarine travel and leave the Z-Depths untouched. Ah, the agreement about nothing of consequence. Zaylers mutter about it when listening to the Admiralty's follies. You nod. Oh, listening, not listening to. She raises her glass to her lips. And what is your opinion of this agreement, she asks. So we can either approve it and it'll pause our quest, or we can scoff about it. It's nonsense. Nowhere should be forbidden to the capable explorer. A new friend. Her smile is conspiratorial. Then we can help each other. I am prepared to finance, in a large part, improvements to your ship that will make it capable of, sub of submarine travel. The Admiralty and other powers disapprove of such innovation. Therefore, we will need to be discreet. I have procured experts, laborers, and a workshop. They are well paid and loyal. Here is the address. Meet us there, and we can begin our work. Okay, so... Ah, okay. So we need to donate things and sort of build up a certain amount of modification level. Okay. The Hidden Workshop. On the shore of a gloomy inlet stands a rickety factory. Once, and supposedly still, it was committed to cutting and polishing of sapphires. Now it is the place where the fierce philanthropist houses her intrepid staff of engineers, the ingenious men and women who will convert your ship into a submarine. Does it say what we need to do? We have to retrieve a set of zonar schematics at some point. Okay. So we can donate Stygian Ivory. We can donate outlandish artifacts. We can also just give them money. It requires three Z stories or just 75. Let's just dump some money into this. Okay. You make a deposit into a blandly named account and a certain port official turns a blind eye to an incoming cargo of vital but dangerous supplies. Okay. And it looks like we can keep doing that probably until we get to 100 here. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and do it. Behind the blue bazaar by night, a gang of craveted, uh, craveted criminals assemble. They're wearing neckties. <laughs> I love it. For a sum of echoes, they will appropriate a crate of necessary materials for you. They ask no questions, and the crate is delivered to the workshop by morning. Do it again. Okay, same story as before. Let's do one more time. Okay, so we need to move on to phase two. Receive, retrieve a set of Zonar schematics. The engineers have reached an impasse. It's the Zonar. It's unreliable, loud, and stops working below 70 fathoms. But the Admiralty and the Connate must have cracked this back in the day. The engineers brim with conspiracy theories about all the old submarine programs. Before the agreement about nothing of consequence, London's Admiralty conducted their submarine research at Station 3. The location of the Connate's research base is unknown, but a number of its scientists relocated to Khan's shadow. Perhaps one of these locations has information you could use. Well, we are going to Con Shadow anyway. And we may as well then, at that point. I think we are pretty well done here. So let's be on our way. Now, we're going to look out for those blue birds again. Uh, let's see if we can get over to Adam's Way and then just head north from there. It's probably the best way to go about this. Keep our lights off, save some fuel, avoid the burbs. I have distinct memories of those bluebirds being pretty, pretty fierce. All right, well, I'll see you over at Adam's Way when we will see what's there. And then head up to Khan's Shadow. Okay, we made it to Adam's Way. 
And we took a couple hits from the Blue Prophets that uh, very nearly wrecked us. 15 damage a hit. Yeah, that wasn't good. Whew. Okay, so we can this time get into Adam's way with some recent news. Let's go ahead. Is their interest strategic, or do they just enjoy hearing about London's miseries? Regardless, they permit you to dock. The day has just begun. In the town square, a yellow-robed priestess plants a seed in a bed of black soil. No sooner has she patted down the soil than a tiny shoot pokes forth. By mid-morning, it'll be a sapling. By lunchtime, a budding tree. By the evening's end, it will wither and fall. You must be back on your ship before then. Okay, so we have one day, and that will then cause time to pass. And you basically have essentially four actions to take here. Let's see, there's a storyteller, assisted in animescence hospital, visit an exhibition. Let's ask storytellers about the clattery heart. Why not? The clattery heart? Yes, it was here. The previous owner zailed it as far up the river as it could go, and then submerged it and covered its resting place in reeds. There, its ichor bled into the river. The riverfish began to throw themselves on shore and hobbled out on their fins. At first, the local fishermen welcomed an easy harvest, but in time they came to dislike the disruption and the permanent rotting smell. Then, ah, but how the heart departed and where it went are another story. The clattery air listens without looking, her gaze fixed on the flowering of the tree. Okay. What is this? Okay. Visit an exhibition of Presbyterian curiosities. Let's just stick with the clattery airs for the clattery heart's departure here. The people who lived on the banks of Adam's Way brought the clattery heart to the surface and made it fit to sail again. But there was no one who wanted to voyage in her. So they chose a crew by lot and chained them to the deck, ordering them to sail north until they had left the outer continent, and then to keep sailing as far as they could go. The clattery air is still looking at the distance, but the corners of her mouth have turned down. The storyteller is milking the story, and she knows it. Let's ask them how to retrieve it. Where might it be? One can't be certain, but ships that cannot sail any longer often find themselves huddled into con shadow. You might look there. Perhaps the presence of the clattery heart would even make those other broke-down ships eager to move again. Okay, so now we are on our last action here. We can... Yeah, you know what? Let's spend our something awaits you. A public square. Attend a funeral feast. A public square. A gathering of the bereaved, uncannily cheerful. A table, shining with cutlery, white china plates, tall glasses. Curiosity. You move closer for a better look. What do we have here? Okay. The replete occupy lofty positions in the Presbyterian's military. Despite the sanguinary past, they dine with the Prester and send their children to be educated at London's university. However, they maintain their tradition of eating their dead. The feasts are held in public. Here in a broad square stretches a splendid table. The departed was only a distant relative, some great aunt or second cousin, and the atmosphere is jolly. Servants carry the deceased over in steaming joints, cooked to perfect pinkness. A stately mourner stands, already wobbly from wine. Shall I carve? So we can observe. We can steal scraps. <laughs> What's this one? Unaccountably peckish five. A modest challenge. Uh, you know what? Sure, let's let's do it. <laughs> Okay, a darting lunge seizes you to to a seizes you a bone clung with stringy tatters of flesh. You hide it under your jacket and return to your cabin, where you hold a meager feast of your own. The meat is unremarkable. When it's gone, you crack the bone open to get at the marrow. You force it all down, every mealy scrap. Was there any virtue in it? Are you changed? So we now have the menace unaccountably peckish. We are cannibals now. <laughs> But that's pretty funny. So that will actually open up certain things 
as I understand, so we can uh, use that to our advantage later. And now we have spent an entire day, and we have to come back only when we have more news or a poor report of Mount Palmerston or an unread log. Okay, now we are in pretty rough looking shape here. Um, so we're going to try to just bolt for the Isle of Cats. Even though we're not really going there, we're just trying to uh, get past there. I hope this storm doesn't do anything to us because we are not able to deal with the storm right now. It's not doing anything to us now. I think if we were in the clouds, it might cause problems. Clouds stay there. All right, well, I'm going to hope that we can make our way up safely to the Isle of Cats and Con Shadow. I think we will then probably do... Oh, man, we need to repair, like, really badly. We could get a kind of meh repair up at Pigmoot Isle, which isn't great, but we could. And in we go. There we go. So, stuff is kind of pricey here. Is there anything to really do is I get a port report. Let's get that. Sell sunlight here. Right, so we've been doing. Um, let's see what's here. Anything we can do here? No, okay. Anything here? A mini with a king's claw. Interesting. So we could give over the cannoneer or a crewman. What's our hold look like? So we could take could give her a crewman. I'm gonna bet that uh, this is a really nice reward though. Offer prisoner. Gall-Eyed Engineer. I'm pretty sure that is also a starting officer. Hmm. Like, we don't need the... What's his name? Well, he is actually pretty good. Iron 8. Yeah, let's go see what happens if we give her a crewman. Boop. 10 supplies. Wow. 10 terror. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, we've made a sacrifice to the Rose Garden. We can walk with the Lady of the Cages. Leopold has a particular fascination with the surface. He still thinks of it as home, in some ways. Endearing, isn't it? She doesn't wait for your answer. Personally, I've drunk the memories of so many homes, I couldn't pick a particular one out of the lot. Tricky things. Still, it does make him easier to buy birthday presents for. Have I modeled this up? Did I say I set up a meeting with the king for you, did I? Well, I did. Okay, let's bring him a gift. Someone with memories of from the surface. It's not his birthday exactly, but you want to make a good impression. Okay, we are seeking a gift. All right, your patron dismisses you with the advice that the command canal is the likeliest place to source such a particular gift. All right. I think we can manage that. Given that we're going to be going there anyway. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> Once again. And we are going up to Con Shadow. And I'll see you... Oh, no, 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 no. No, I cannot deal with that right now. Sorry, friendo. No, I am in no position to do anything with the LCS class Corvette. <laughs> Not with this much haul left. I think there's a non-zero chance we might be getting our second captain a bit earlier than... Oh, good grief. Really? Oh my goodness. Sharks. I'm just going to try to sneak on by. I'm not sure it knows that I'm here. 
No, I guess we are pumping our terror up. Make it through here, and let's just sneak over here. Lights off. Ooh, okay. Oh, no. Okay. False alarm. We have a little ways to go, but I think we should be okay-ish. Hopefully, we'll make it. Okay, we are here. Ooh. Sweaty palms time, sweaty palms. Let's go ahead and pop on in here to port. And we are here. Anything we want to get rid of? No, we probably don't need fuel or supplies at all. So, what do you do? Fuel efficiency? Nope, no after thing anyway. So... Head on in. So we could seek the Clattery Heart here. Let's see, acquired a monster hunter. Let's get our port report. Sure. Let's plunder the decommissioned remains of the Stone Turtle. Okay. An old research vessel, chained and boarded up at the Shadow's Rim. If the Connie's Zonar schematics survived, perhaps they're on board. You climb aboard. Your bosun applies bolt cutters to a chain, securing entry. Slipping inside, you close the door, muting the clamor of the shadow, and light lamps. The hull is well preserved. Down in the hold are orderly piles of crates, boxes, and cabinets. Eventually, you just uncover a detailed set of schematics that, despite the complexities of Connate script, look like what you need. You cram them near jacket. You discovered fingerprints in the dust and suspicious gaps in the ruins of certain records. Has someone been here recently? Perhaps the Connate hasn't abandoned submarine research quite as absolutely as they claim. Okay, so we just need to go back to Port Carnelian then for that. And we can seek the Clattery Heart among the abandoned hulls. Let's give it a whirl. The shipwrights are watching you. Everyone here seems unduly fascinated by your presence. You've only walked a quarter of the docks when the clattery air takes your elbow. The light is too dim. I can't be certain of the shapes of the hulls. She might be here without me seeing her. From the deck of the closest ship, someone spits something at your feet. It's... actually, what is that? Chunk of tongue, the clattery air says, giving it a poke with the toe of her boot. To say they don't care to speak with us. Let's go. So... Let's see, speaking to her, talking with her should be easier? What? Okay, here we go. Is it worth seeking the ship further in Khan's shadow? Not determined, but not giving up. It's a unique ship, of course. I wouldn't want to recommend any foolish efforts to find her. But if she's there for the taking, the clattery air shrugs. My mother always liked to challenge. Okay, so I think... Let's go back to there. Uh, we can try it again. Same thing. We just gain a tear every time. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Wow. We finally got it there. The clattery ear walks the dock, watching the hulls and the outlines of the ship. She moves slowly so that she won't doesn't look too eager. We probably won't find her here. The air says. I don't expect to. I don't believe in clinging to specific hopes and expectations of that kind. It's just the sort of obsession that ruins lives, just the kind of thing I'm always having to repair. You don't find the ship that you walk the dock three times over. It doesn't matter, says the clattery air. I don't mind. But surely there is more you can do? Okay, so... Ah, we can ask about the clattery heart among the shipwrights. On to Frostfound. She made the other ships restless, says the Kaganian shipwright. In the end, we had to repair her enough to let her go on. She turned north with the last of the crew that still lived on her. But she sailed too close by Frostfound, and the ice swallowed her. At least, that's the story that has come back to us. Okay, so it's in Frostfound. 
And I think, I'm pretty sure that in order to really have a good chance of keeping her and the ship, we would need to, I believe, keep going around and doing surgeries and then talk to her about her father again here until we succeed. Yeah. So let's hold off on that. We're not going to go there anyway. It's not really on the radar. Ah, uh, so question. We need to repair in London. Do we go ahead and buy some mirror catch boxes? Because I don't want to go back to London, repair, come back here, get more boxes, go to the canal, <laughs> come back to Island of Cats. Uh, that's, a, that's a good question. Hmm. <laughs> That is a tough one. I'm trying to think of if there's any other place we can repair our ship. But I don't think there is. At least not reliably. Maybe one of these two places if we could actually get in. But I think we can't. So you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna chance it. We are going to we're gonna buy our six boxes here. There we are. And our cargo is pretty full. Let's go ahead and we are going to call the episode here. But next episode, we're going to head back to the Cuban Canal in a pretty much straight line. I'll probably pass by at least the uh, bunging station here to get a port report. And then we will go and pick up some sunlight and then try to sell in the Isle of Cats. Probably kind of keeping like a sort of pattern like this, or maybe even like ducking under here, just to avoid where this, I'll say it's classic Corvette, is probably still lurking. Well, everyone, hope you enjoyed the episode and this new exploration in heading down to Port Carnelian and these new places and getting the submarine underway. I do think that we probably do want to, after coming back from the surface, run down to Port Carnelian first, and then probably skip around to get back to Con Shadow, or actually back to the Isle of Cats at that point. And then we'll see if we have any ship left by then. <laughs> Alright, everyone, let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, my name has been Kurazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.